How's it going guys? Welcome back to Queen City Corals. This week I've got a special video for you. Uh, this is going to be a tour of the Carolina Reef Experience show that we went to last weekend in Columbia, South Carolina. This is a great local show that we go to every year and it was in a new venue this year that was a little bigger. They also had a couple freshwater vendors and I wanted to give you guys a little tour of the show and show you guys what a local show is like. There's plenty of videos on YouTube that show Reef of Palooza and Macna and a lot of the bigger shows, but there's not as big of a spotlight on the smaller local shows like this that I think are a really great time and an awesome opportunity for smaller areas like Columbia, South Carolina, as well as Charlotte, North Carolina, and any of the other awesome shows that we go to that are a little smaller to really get some great deals, meet some new people, uh, and just kind of learn about new vendors and check out some new aquarium products as well. Um, so without further ado, guys, let's jump right into it. So guys, there was tons of really great vendors here at the show. Um, starting off, we've got Fritz. They have a lot of dry goods. Um, got another vendor here. They've got some uh, nice sticks as well as some Zoas and some encrusters, a couple of chalices. Um, few things like that, some nice bounce mushrooms there in the bottom, um, as well as the other smaller tank. Um, then next up we've got Ward's Aquatics, he's always got some really nice stuff including these anemones, as well as of course some Euphilia, some Zoas, some Acans, um, he's got some really nice Raja Rampage chalices, uh, some bounce mushrooms. Uh, he's always got a ton of really nice stuff, really well encrusted, grown out. Um, definitely check him out, guys. He um, has really great, really great stuff. And next up, we've got JP Corals. They always have some really interesting stuff. Obviously, these nice anemones here, um, as well as plenty of sticks. And they've actually got a really nice collection of Anacroporas as well. Then we've got RVA Corals here. He really specializes in zoas as you can tell but he's also got a lot of uh n nice other stuff as well um including some encrusters things like that um he's always great uh, then over on this side we've got pops corals if you've been to really any show <laughs> you've probably seen pop there he travels all around the country he's from new york but drives down to this show every year as well as a lot of other shows that we go to in the area and he's always got big tanks filled with big stuff and a lot of it got a really great selection as you can see here he's even got clams and gorgonias stuff that you don't always see at these shows um, as well as those cocoa worms there uh, really unique and um, he just always brings a, a lot of a lot of unique stuff Next up, we've got Low Country Coral Boys. He is a Zoa farmer, as well as at this show, he also brought some nice Euphilia. He's always got some really great prices, and he ships as well. Definitely check out Chandler over there. Next up, we've got a little interesting vendor here, Demeter Bioscience. They actually have various brine shrimps, phytoplanktons, a lot of live foods. Then we've got Aquarium Specialties booth here. They are primarily a dry goods vendor and we actually will use them a lot they've got a phenomenal section of dry goods really one of the best in the Carolinas um, and as you can see from their booth they've got plenty of stock available um, so definitely check them out online they've got really quick shipping if you're in the area um, and it's definitely one of the fastest for dry goods um, he, they also have quite a nice coral selection here uh, as you can see, they brought a small sampling from their shop with some nice zoas and such. Um, and of course, more dry goods. Uh, they definitely have plenty there. Uh, then we got the Hydros booth. Uh, if you're not familiar with Hydros, they are a aquarium controller similar to the Apex. And then we've got Clockwork Coral. Um, they've got some really nice pieces here. Um, they've got some nice acans, some nice blastos, gonies, alvies, um, you know, plenty of Duncans. Those are always a favorite, as well as some Zoas. Um, next up, we've got Riptide Aquaculture. Um, these guys 
are from Florida and they drive up here uh, pretty frequently, which is pretty incredible that they uh, drive so far. They've got some really nice blastos back there in addition to those nice chunky trachees and acanthos. Additionally, they've got really nice aquacultured sticks. Here we have Carolina Coral Heads. He's got some really high-end sticks, um, as well as some Ghanis. Uh, I don't think he brought any to this show, but he's got uh, a lot of really nice high-end stuff. If you're into the higher-end things, um, he's definitely got you covered. Here is Jamrock's Tanks. Um, he is in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and he's got his tanks packed. Um, he's got some really nice Euphilia, as well as Acans, Zoas. Um, he's always got some really nice chunky pieces. Um, and then we've got JDC Coral Farm. He's got some really nice meats uh, and trachees there, as well as some shrooms um, and some really cool acro mini colonies uh, that are nice get something a little bigger um, he's also got some nice blastos and acans um, as well as some euphilia and here are those acro mini colonies uh, I like that you can get kind of a, a bigger piece that's it's hard to find uh, with acros especially get a nice big chunky piece uh, and then over here we've got more of JDC's and then we've got spike corals they've always got some great corals uh, mama spike as we call her always has some really nice farm corals and uh, great prices uh, just because she farms them they're able to sell them for a lot cheaper then we've got reef beast and he is a torch guy as you can tell um, he's pretty much only got torches he's got a couple nice zoas in the back there but the star of the show is definitely the torches here uh, he's got some tigers some holy grails um, some dragon souls really nice tiger coloration there um, and really if you're looking for a cold torch he's probably got the one you're looking for over here we've got some of the dry goods vendors carolina axolotls quantum and a new product in the industry uh, at least in the u.s the x aqua water tester this thing works similar to the Hannah tester where you can test a variety of elements with one kit, um, but the reagents are a little bit cheaper and they last a little bit longer as well. And then we've got uh, BMF corals. They've also got some really nice high-end pieces, high-end sticks. You can see he's got the Amaze Balganis, the Chalices, um, Favias, the Micromusa, um, Holy Girl Micromusas. Um, just absolute fire and um, he's definitely one of the one of the nicest high-end vendors if you're looking to get those name pieces that are really really hyped up right now um, and you can see those amaze Balganis, really nice um, yeah he's got he's got some great stuff definitely check him out if you're if you're looking for high-end stuff in particular um, then we've got Luis Reef there. Um, he's always got some nice pieces. Uh, he's got a lot of a lot of chunky pieces there, uh, as well as a little acro mini colony. Uh, he's got pretty much everything. He brings a really good variety: chalices, zoas, uh, euphilia. Um, as you can see, those bigger lobos there. Uh, then we've got sunken ship corals and fish um, he's definitely brings a lot of fish to these shows which is nice because there's not always a lot of vendors that bring any fish he's got quite a nice selection of zoas here as well as some nice euphilia those torches there looking good um, next up we've got actually an interesting vendor uh, ak rich tropicals i wet my plants uh, some of the freshwater vendors there um, and then Tina's Tropicals got some nice freshwater fish as well. Um, then we've got NC Betas um, and Leon's Lagoon. He was pretty busy there, unfortunately. And then we've got Fishy Business. Uh, they've got some really interesting uh, tanks that they set up. This is a really nice planted freshwater tank that they set up for the show. 
um, that just looks really great kind of shows you what you can do with that tank and they also brought some coral as well um, some chalices some shrooms a couple euphilia um, nice little variety there uh, I definitely really like these chalices the rainbow chalices I'm a bit of a sucker for the rainbow chalices as well as a uh, Bernarda Pora there definitely love those guys some of the blastos there as well as some zoa colonies it's always nice to have some larger options for people with bigger tanks so guys we are here at the queen city corals booth um starting off on this side we've got some zoas as well as our euphilia on this rack um back here brought um kind of a variety frog spawns torches hammers then we've got a few of our Ghanis over here. Um, this rack, we also had some Duncans. Um, and we've also got our Chalices and Encrusters um, there. We also brought some of the ORA Captive Bread Clams, in addition to some Scolies, Elegants, um, some Plates, some Trachies, a lot of the chunkier stuff that people like to put on their sand bed to fill that area in. Um, as well as some of the black widow anemones love those guys and of course the rock flowers it wouldn't be a show if we didn't bring the rock flowers those are always a big hit and then we've got some of our mushrooms we've got the ck helter skelter here uh, this one's really nice uh, newer one that was released as well as the flamethrower bounce mushroom and as well as our artwork these are 3d portraits that are basically laser cut and they are painted with UV reactive light, so they will actually glow under the blue light. So a lot of people really like to put them next to their tank, so that way they glow when the tank lights are on. And then next up here, we've got a special presentation, as uh, I guess I'd call it. So at the end of the show, they decided to do this bucket challenge here. So as you can see, you had quite a few people. You had Carl from Seachem, as well as Guy from Fishy Business, and Ward from Ward's Aquatics, as well as the Fritz rep, Scott from Aquarium Specialty, as well as the Quantum rep. I'll let this play out for you guys. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that little tour of Carolina Reef Experience. If you weren't able to make it this year to Carolina Reef Experience, don't worry, we'll be back next year along with plenty of other local shows. We'll be updating our socials with any new shows we're going to. If you enjoyed this one, make sure to leave a like and subscribe so that way you can get up to date with all of our latest content. And post in the comments down below your favorite local show if you've been to one. Once again, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.